again. The shockwave pet me for no f***ing reason. So it's something like for one mil, like one hundred or one mil six hundred thousand, I think it was. I also claimed a kit and got these shiny boots in this actually I got rid of the sword to the redstone mines, which is this way was the drop off, I think. I haven't like been active on it. I was like, oh this time we're gonna go really far. Penis! 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 P90. I hear myself in the background. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. I just find it funny. <laughs> it's just like I yell penis, and then a couple seconds later, I hear myself in the background yelling penis. It's like, I agree with you, me. Have you ever tried Windcraft? I have before. Oh, speaking of things, I was looking at some interesting uh, survival servers for 114. There's actually some mm -hmm. pretty cool looking ones that I was gonna check out at some point. If your pickaxe needs leveled up, and you, you need that, that fat cosmic energy, the best way is just mine meteorites. Yep. There's actually one falling near me, or something falling near me at least. I should just be like this giant level, like, 200 guy just falling through the sky towards you. Oh god. With six shockwave pets. No, please stop. <laughs> I hate that pet with a passion. Imagine sovereign defeats sovereign. It's the only one that's going out at this rate. Or Sahara. Sahara would have to be the one because I think Sahara was the first one they ever had, and that's why it's not going anywhere. Oh, kind of like first island. Yeah. Even though it's dead and toxic. Yeah. Like imagine playing Skybound's one. Yeah, dude, couldn't be me. I actually thought about going back and doing a video on it just for bands to see how far it's fallen. Skybound still exists? Yeah. Sadly. Um, <laughs> uh, Skybound, I didn't even know you were a Skybound player. Oh, what, are the, what, what are the odds? A person that I that finds me because I was streaming COD Mobile also knows about Skybounds and Cosmic Prisons. That's insane. Um, but yeah, Skybounds won. It still exists. It is not being updated anymore, but people can still play on it. It hasn't been updated for over a year. Yeah, so continuing that trend, it's it's de it's confirmed it's not being updated anymore. Like, they actually said it instead of just leaving us hanging. I remember the portal to the place with hella ores, the portal in Warzone. I don't remember, to be honest. <clears throat> that was, like, beta beta. Was it? Yeah. I did play it since the beginning, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> but I've also played it since then, clear till the end, basically. And by end, I mean basically when they gave up on it and decided to make a Skybounds 2. But the original classic Skybounds is still up. They aren't updating it, and they'll keep it up as long as there's a player base for it. It's kind of sad. Uh, to think I watched so many people, uh, so many videos from people playing on Nexus, but I never got to play it. Oof. Nexus was a fantastic server. I actually never got to play Nexus either. Oh, hallelujah, I'm level 48. Nice, same. I'm 48 and a half. A lot of mod smash were ruined past 1-9. I think the, the big thing with that is just a lot of mod creators just stop making the mods. That's another thing I need to do more of is modded because apparently that's one of the most voted things. I had an idea <clears throat> because Kat suggested doing like a modded series, but do it as like a hardcore modded series. Like you die and that's it. And I was like, oh, that'll be a bad idea, but Climate sure. Forest. There's one I was thinking of that's to be honest, it'd be kind of pointless because I don't think there's much danger in it. But I was thinking about doing this in general. It's one called, I think it was called Stone Block or something like that. It's like Sky Block, except you're underground in stone. Pixel Mod is fun. Yeah, but people don't seem to like that on my channel. Plus, I don't know. It gets boring for me after a while. Like, I was actually enjoying Poke Find for a while. But no one wanted it. Well, no, actually, that wasn't it. Um. Because I think I don't think you were around whenever I went back to it with Bubba. Uh, I was like, all right, I'll give another shot. I'll, I'll stream it a bit. I'll edit it for a video. Because it, it did good. The first video had like 90 views. And then I didn't put up a second one because it was all kinds of fucked up. There was no chance I was fixing the sync on it. I probably could now. 
but at the time I was like, nah, I give up. I'm not gonna try and fix the sink on it. I'm just gonna not put up the video. But I went back to it and I was like, alright, I'm ready to face the gym. Got to the gym and it's like, oh yeah, so to fight the gym, all you gotta do is just kill a bunch of these spiders and chiggers around the area until you get this item. And I'm like, oh, is that all? Alt F4? It's like you do like several hours of straight vanilla Minecraft so you can get really good enchanted gear. And then you can enjoy the Pixelmon side of things. I would love to see this and do like a Pixelmon server where <clears throat> maybe, I'm trying to think of a way that it could be really interesting, but the main thing I'm thinking is like, have like a gym and stuff like that, or gyms, maybe a, maybe a league, and your goal is to obviously go through and beat it. And then maybe after a certain amount of time, it resets for a season, change up the map a little bit, stuff like that. But I think the main thing is they need to balance it a bit. Like, okay, so like, here's my, here's my opinion, right? have the gyms in set locations and have it so you can visit them ahead of time like you can actually go there you actually can told your requirements and all. maybe what i'm thinking right instead is have like two separate worlds essentially have like a vanilla server as attached to it where you can go and explore this and the shockwave pet me for no fucking reason yep. i'm gonna in so have that and be and that'll be your world where you can essentially do survival build a house get prepared all that stuff mine resources and then have a separate world where it's all custom built and you can go explore a bit and catch pokemon um and not may, maybe have things to fight but have it like kind of kind of balanced so like say the first gym you only really would need let's say iron gear to be able to fight iron gear and an iron sword and not too many enemies and you can handle it on your own and then maybe the next stage would be either diamond gear or iron enchanted with like prop 2 prop 3 something like that you know tier the vanilla stuff along with the pokemon stuff i feel like they should also change up how they do the servers because i don't like there's 16 server not 16 servers but 16 servers the one we were on and i think we'd have to, if we wanted our house we'd have to always go to the 16th server instead of having like 20 different servers server 1 through 20 have like three or four uniquely named so i can be like oh well, yeah i i know this one by the name um and it can have obviously and it allow it to support more players so they don't have to have so many servers you know the one thing i'll say is they balance the pokemon pretty well because the pokemon that spawn around you are, are, are at a certain level based on your trainer level which is pretty nice but how am i supposed to yolo level 36 when i have a level 10 that is true. That's where an adventure world separate from the survival world would be great. Because you could technically go past the first gym and go further and find stronger Pokemon and try and YOLO it at the risk of, you know, fainting and having to go heal all your Pokemon. <gasps> I leveled up! Coin Collector! Ch uh, percent chance to get double the tokens from a completed quest! Pog! Another useless one. Nah, that's pretty nice. I just Oops. wish I could... Need a pickaxe. That's all I want. Yeah. Cause let's be real, a pickaxe is a good weapon. True, true. You could like use that to bust open now a door. Servers, and like both the server head. get crates might get true, true. <clears throat> I do like that to an extent. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I love, I love, I mainly cause I just love opening things. Time to enchant. Like I said, this is my favorite part about it. It's just building a god pickaxe. It's it, it's so fun to me the way they do it and just i don't know the fun like especially when you build this good pickaxe and then you finally get to test it out these enchants suck i should probably go with efficiency one to start off with hell yeah efficiency one hey, so we got Flip, if you get an uncommon plus contraband can i open it i'm very sad i just had one that i could have given you to open uncommon plus you say yeah Spawn cipher. Yeah, that's fine. Cipher. Yes. Cipher. Yes. Cipher. Yes. Cipher. Yes. Yes. I'm looking Cyber. at a fish sticks. Cipher. Cipher. Yes. Cipher. Rare. Cipher. Rare. Cipher. Rare. Rare. Cipher. Rare. Cipher. Rare. 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 I see you. Hi. I spent about a mil on this. A mil four hundred thousand. Alien invasion. Oh no. Efficiency five. All right, Cypher, 86% chance, efficiency five, or 84% chance, energy collector one. Uh, 
You're right. Aqua Affinity won 9% chance. Got it. No. <laughs> Which is going to be more useful to you? The fish. It's on your. Money faster! Right? Hell yeah. Oh, you did it? <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I, I was debating. I was like, I, I definitely want to go for that, but I'd rather mine faster. Plus, I do have a 7% energy gain from a, uh, an orb, so that should hold me over. You know what? All in on my cosmic energy. We need to add an item that remove one level and one failure. Uh, the failures don't really do anything. It just lets you know. Rerolls, 140k. Love it. Because my options are Aqua Affinity or Ore Magnet. And to be honest, I don't really want Ore Magnet. Shard Discover 4. Pog. <clears throat> Yo, someone on Reddit suggested to add the crafting recipe where you just put two breads and a crafting table stacked on top of each other and it makes a baguette. You know what I proved? I just realized I have cosmic <laughs> energy on my pickaxe. My other pickaxe I could have been using as well. I was about to be like, alright, that's it for now. But I have cosmic energy I can use. So you're gonna feel your addiction? Yeah. Oh my god, the choices have never been greater. Aqua Affinity 1, Shard Discoverer 5, Feed 1, Energy Collector 1, or Magnet 1. All of them have good chances. I think I'm gonna go Shard Discoverer 5, to be honest, because I just want the maxed out Shard Discoverer. It's really nice. And it there. failed! <clears throat> Seriously? Kidding, kidding. No. <laughs> Makes you work. I was gonna cry. I was too, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. Yes. Yes, and I was just sitting here. I finished my enchanting and I've just been mining. So, Bye. enjoy your food, boy. But that's gonna be the end of this stream and the future video that I edit together. But, anyways, I'm gonna end the stream here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you haven't yet, make sure you follow, turn on notifications so you guys never miss a stream here. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.